Now, DMG Mori have got plenty of stock in the UK, and when you talk about milling, horizontal milling, the NHX 5000, tell us a little bit about the technical aspect of this machine. Well, as you can see, Mark, this is a real beast of a horizontal machine tool from DMG Mori. You've got 20k spindle. It can run at 60 meters rapid. Um, the pallet is 500 mil squared, and you've got a swing diameter of 8 800. And when you look at the size of the machine, you know, you've got two pallets there. I understand that you can have over 200 tools on this machine. That's quite impressive, isn't it? It's extremely impressive, really, Mark, and it really gives you so much flexibility. To be able to have an accommodate for so many tools means that you can have such varied work on your columns so not necessarily just running the same part on each column but effectively you could be running a different part per face of the cube or you can even add a pallet cell so to have that additional tooling is priceless especially when you're looking to run the run 24 7 unmanned and when you look at the uh, speedmaster spindle which you get three years warranty this is 20,000 rpm how does it cope with the thermal compensation the thermal compensation is really important on a machine such as this because it's designed to run 24-7. All of the setting is done on the second pallet, so effectively that spindle is continuously running and not going to stop. So keeping the temperature consistent throughout is extremely important and it copes with it very well. And yet again with the design of a DMG Mori, I understand this is a, a one casting, so yet again it's rigid, it could handle most uh, materials I understand and obviously with that Speedmaster spindle I mean the second to none isn't it? Absolutely rigidity is a really good point when you're looking to, to machine any type of material whether it's small prismatic parts such as this or a large one meter component you know you, you need to have that rigidity. Rigidity is is within the casting but also within the spindle as you mentioned Mark. Oh, and from your point of view where would this actually fit into industry? Is it for companies that are really sort of really churning out the same product on a regular basis or companies that want to actually change that tombstone with different parts? I think it lends itself in my opinion to both. You, you do see horizontal machines in, in high volume environments but that's not to say that you can also do uh, you know small small batches on them too you know hot high mix low volume you know because they are capable of that so for me yes they need to be running but not necessarily the same part all the time and the beauty of DMG Murray with many automation aspects they've got you can add different types of automation to this as well rather than just relying on the two pallets yeah absolutely as we mentioned with the 200 tool station if you were looking to add multiple pallets it really comes into its own this is a very heavy universal mini machine at the end of the day isn't it and i can see where it fits in market and the positive news they have this machine in stock